It's Tuesday, February 22nd, and unfortunately we had to come back to school today after another nice day off. Well, some of us, in 1980 it was a miracle on ice as the United States Olympic hockey team defeated the heavily favored Soviet Union team. This unlikely victory was the subject of the 2004 movie Miracle. In 2006, Apple's iTunes sold its one billionth song, and on this day in 1935, a new law was made that airplanes were no longer permitted to fly over the White House. Birthdays today are Drew Barrymore star from Charlie's Angels turns 36. Also this day, George Washington would have been 279 years old, along with Sheldon Leonard, who would be 104. The crocodile hunter Steve Irwin would have been 49. Not too much for history today, but maybe the announcements will be better. Attention, all SkillsUSA members who plan on attending this weekend's conference need to stop by Mr. Structure to pick up the paperwork. Congratulations to the Crandall Lady Pirate basketball team. They won their game on Friday and are now the 2010-2011 area champs. They play again tonight against Liberty Alu at 7.30 at Texas a and Commerce says. The boys basketball team lost against Crockett last night, but that's okay because it was just a warm-up game. The first playoff game will be sometime this week, but the whereabouts of win are still undecided. Oh my god, you're chasing me. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, sure, Larry. Oh, sweet. What time, man? Thanks. Varsity boys will be playing at 7 tonight here at Pirate Stadium. Good morning, Pirates. It's Tuesday, February 22nd. Attention juniors and seniors, the ACT will be given on April 9th. The deadline to sign up is March 4th. Go to www.sat.collegeboard.org to register and get more info. Seniors, now's the time to start filling out the free application for federal financial aid. Seniors should do this online at www.fafsa.ed.gov. This is the first step to qualifying for financial aid. Don't delay. And remember, the application is free. If you're asked to pay a fee to submit the application, you're on the wrong website. Student Council will be collecting and recycling ink cartridges. There will be drop-off boxes in all the workrooms throughout the rest of the school year. Teachers especially, please help us in our recycling endeavors. Congratulations to the Crandall Boys baseball team. They won 10-0 against Quinlan Ford. Ricky Lopez opened the season up by throwing a no-hitter. Next up, Prosper Tournament this Thursday. Good luck, guys. Texas A&M will be hosting the Governor's School this summer. Incoming juniors and seniors are invited to apply. It's a residential summer educational program where you can stay on campus and enjoy lots of activities. Get the details at the website governorschool.tamu.edu. There will be a trash bash pickup this Saturday from 8 till finish. Mr. Trammell and Ms. Jew will be offering extra credit for your participation. The Lady Pirate basketball team will be playing in the regional quarterfinals tonight at 7.30 at Texas A&M Commerce against Liberty Island. Please come out and get loud and rowdy as the Lady Pirates intend to knock off the defending state champions and make another trip to Commerce on Friday. If you don't believe, you don't belong. Good luck, ladies. There will be a mandatory NHS meeting tomorrow morning at 7.30. I'm Aaron Perry. And I'm Taylor. Have, Have a nice, nice day. day. Okay. This past weekend, the boys powerlifting team competed in the district meet. The JV finished second in the district and the varsity finished third. Here are the following names and how they placed. Congratulations. Taylor Gonzalez finished first, Brandon Mobley fifth, Michael Linger third, Andrew Newton second, Riley Mendez fourth, Juan Guzman second, Nathan Blunt fourth, Ethan Sinclair third, and Dylan O'Neill second. Austin McKenzie second, Trevor Dykema fourth, James West second, Jason Bryant third, Anthony Offord fifth, Dylan Collard second, Devin Burris second, Dylan Morrison second, Justin Tennyson fourth, and Andre McKissick fourth. This is Cameron Mills here on the behalf of the theater department. We have misplaced the companion to this shoe. It is a leather, leather size 13 jazz shoe, and the person who returns it to Miss Hill will receive a dozen freshly baked cookies. It's a very expensive shoe, and if it is returned, we will be extremely grateful, because I lost it. My bad. You probably picked it up in the parking lot or in the hallway. I need it back really bad. Please and thank you. Goodbye. Richard! Wait, Richard! Whoa, whoa, whoa. This just in. This just in. The Varsity Boys soccer team will be playing here at Crandall at 7.15 after the girls game. We will be taking on North Forney. 
Players, please make sure your parents are aware of the change of stadiums. Varsity, please meet at the green room at SITS. Coach Jackson would like to meet with the JV team in the locker room after school. Parents and friends of Crandall FFA are having a steak dinner Saturday, February 26th. It's only $10 for the dinner and it starts at 5.30. There's lots of cool stuff in the auction and bidding starts at 7. You can bid on all sorts of items ranging from trees to a haircut. A night in a hotel, a mini fridge, and a homemade quilt. A fire pit, pies, cakes, and a whole lot more. And there's a raffle for a 32-inch flat screen TV. Just a dollar a ticket and six for five dollars. All proceeds will go towards the purchase of animals for FFA students to show at the Junior Livestock Show in April. Mmm, tasty animals. Be here Saturday night and help out the Crandall FFA. Thanks for watching Pirate TV.